at last, at last, at long last. Welcome back, Tri-Tech, Hello, everybody. Today, today we are going to go invest... Oh, wait, there's more here. Oh. We're trying to figure out who killed our brown friend, Angie. <laughs> <laughs> what else is that's an interesting verb to she's the it. only brown one what else is there must be some did we talk to by Dante? the body did we talk to Maki? yeah did we talked to we talked to everyone remember it was the first thing we did yeah pool oh, of blood. pool of blood okay small pool of blood is emanated from angie's torso what cost this? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this can't be from her forehead the blood is far from is from the back of her neck. Then why did it leak out in front of her? Is this... She just roll over? This blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. Hmm. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, um, Maki, what's wrong? What's wrong with the blood, bro? So what? It's not that important, but the only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? Whatever. Well, the only time you're reliable is when you're threatening to kill people, so... And even then, you haven't really done anything. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even killed anyone. So disappointing. Yeah, I solved the first two trials. I didn't see you doing anything. Yeah. You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, poor guy. Alright. Literally got his heart broke just now. There we go. I think we finished investigating everything for now. Time for the trial. Got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry. You're right. Ah, you're right. First, we should... Go see Kore Kyo. Investigate the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. And then those three shady rooms. No, yeah. that's where they're doing the seance, isn't it? The three... In the middle one. W which which Himiko picked, by the way. Yeah. So, there's another one for the suspicion books. Also, they spelled anthropologist wrong. Anthropo... Anthropologist. Anther. Is isn't it anthropologist? Anthropologist. Anyway. <laughs> we may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? By the way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. Whatever. Do you want to be helpful or not? <laughs> It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. Like Kaito more or less volunteered you for it. It's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. I'm glad that in this game they give you a partner each time. Yeah, You were after, always alone before. After Nagito, you were pretty much alone, weren't you? Like, Chiki kind of helped out, but... It just scares me, because it's like, if we've had a different partner every time up until now... <laughs> does that mean we'll have a different one next time, too? Yeah... <laughs> Well, I hope not. Maybe next time Maki and Kaido, if neither of them died or killed, will be helping us. <sighs> the longer they live, the more scared I am. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's leave. But yeah, I would say this cast of characters has definitely topped the second games. And like, I'd say each game has just gotten progressively better. Because the first game, from what I played, was really, it was really cool. Does this have to do with anything? No. Oh, well, whatever. But... Yeah, I'd say they've just gotten better every time from... I mean, obviously, I'm not done with this one, but... Well, you're not done with the first one, either. Yeah, but I know everything that happens in the first one. <laughs> right. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from... Right there. It has its sheath. Also, they took the hanging dog thing for the ritual. For right. The, the cage dog. Is That's that normal, though. We know that. Yeah. It's just the sheath. Oh, my God. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. He's still smart, Shuichi. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from her. I'm certain of it. <laughs> Whoa! That's true. Ultimate detective in action! Yeah. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab too. Though, I, I think it is interesting looking at it from the Kyo angle because... Wasn't he helping with the seance? What? Him. Kokichi. Oh, maybe. Anyway, go on. 
But, uh, because just the way everything was looked, or, like, angled up with the, you know... Seance? No, like, not the seance. The resurrection thing. The way the bodies were, like, hung about. Well, it seems like a huge theme of this trial, too, has just been, like, history and, like, souls and stuff. Well, just, like, it has that, like, weird, like, kind of, like, ancient feel to it. Yeah. Which, if anyone's gonna know about that, it'd be Kia, so... Mm -hmm. I'm keeping him in the back of my head. Oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yup, that white sheet over there. Wait, which one? Oh. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. It's just left on the ground. I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me! I don't know why we need that stuff either! Okay. It's creepy. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. Um... So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and... Hmm. I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Hmm. Let's see, what does it say about the Cage Child Seance? Yeah. Kokichi flipped through the old book he picked up. Are you even going to be able to read it? Hmm? Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Yeah. Yeah, Kyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Okay. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the cage child... How do they read this? <laughs> I was gonna say, I yeah, was like... I'm sure it's Japanese, but... Yeah, I was like looking at it, I was like, it looks like Japanese, but it's such bad handwriting and yeah. so like faded. Or just ancient, you know? Yeah, that, I guess. You need five people, including the spirit medium, in a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly... It's just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle, passed down from the caged dog village, on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle. Is that Kyo? I think so. And rest their forehead on the stone, on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Okay. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um... The dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the cage child song. Yeah. After the song, ask, is the cage child, then say the name of the spirit. So, like, is the cage child Angie? Is it, like, right? Do I have that right? Oh, yeah, probably. Okay. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Okay. I want to come watch. <sighs> that sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? I mean, with the trials, I guess. Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo's been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. <laughs> Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. Kehehe, <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Okay. Right? Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But... Is it even possible contact contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? I just might. Huh? Huh? Wait, won't it screw it up if there's more people? Kibo don't count. Oh, no. You True. should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <laughs> if you did, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. But whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking? 
All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Okay. Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go to play, then left the room. The caged child. So if we are thinking Kibo doesn't count for the amount of people, then we should make it so it does count for the amount of people, right? Right. So there's really no, well, I don't want to say logical, but you wouldn't think this would fail. Right. It's packed with the books and scrolls. Blah, blah. No yeah. time to read now, though. What if <laughs> Shuchi's like, I want to read this book for a while. Good luck, Maki. <laughs> you can deal with the seance. I'll head back to the crime scene to re-examine the clues. Yeah, she might find something while we're gone, too. Yeah, maybe. I hope so. But, uh, ghosty time. I want to see Angie's cute face. Well, you can go look at it if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like there. Like, it's over there. A little sliced up, maybe, but... <laughs> nah. Put some duct tape over it. Maybe someone did. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. <laughs> you are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh, man. What a shame! Well, Keyboy, you're out! Me? Why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Up. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. It's very See, true. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, for real though. <laughs> Not to be uh, what, robophobic or whatever, but I mean, you're going to screw it up somehow. Yeah, he will, because he's there's no like evidence of like A humanity soul. in him. Yeah. Yeah. D don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? That's why we're apologizing! Do not mock no me. one's apologized yet! Oh, man. Fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude! Why would I do that? Stop it. Stop whining, Kibo. <laughs> I want to start the seance as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, Kibo. <laughs> fine. But I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. We, we didn't do it. They kicked you out. We just showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what? So now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Okay. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped on. Um, you drew this magic circle with salt? You need to go back to art class, kid. That's correct. I don't know, for salt, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like perfect circles, too. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances go more likely to succeed. Yeah, what is it with, like, oh, okay. salt? Because, like, I've seen in, like... I think spirits can't cross salt lines or something. Yeah, but, like, why salt? If it was, like, holy water or holy blessed blah 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 blah. I don't know. I'm sure there's, like, something in, like... He said it's purifying salt. It's holy salt. Okay, but I want to know where that came from, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess just because it's easy to draw lines with. Because, I mean, like, even in, like... Like, obviously that salt thing is, like, popular. You yeah, know? I've seen it in more than one place. I've seen it, like, in Adventure Time, where they keep salt. They, like, put salt down to keep the demons out. Yeah. So, it makes you wonder. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. I'll be careful. Now, let's see if anyone intentionally sabotages this. Yeah, I'm curious to see if this is even going to go well at all. I, I'm... And also pay attention. We know how this ritual is supposed to go now. So if Keo does something other than how it's supposed to go, it's like, hey, wait a minute, you did it wrong. <laughs> Culprit found. Yeah. I'm surprised you're able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Is it? Are we able to look at the picture just to verify that? Um, it looks good enough to me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can't really tell. I'm not going to sit here and analyze every marking, you know? But th there's something to keep note of as a possibility. Mm -hmm. Of course. I also have the Cage Child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? Okay. I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. At last, at last, at long last, young guard dog and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage at mountain's bottom, within the darkness. At last, at last, at long last, how many will there be by dawn? 
Will there be two or just one? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl at last, at last, at long last? I, I would immediately be like kicked out because I'd be like, I could not remember this. Yeah, yeah. Can I keep the piece of paper, please? <laughs> Can I have a flashlight with me? Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read in the dark. Oh, huh? good point. We have to memorize the lyrics now? <laughs> You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. I listened to Keo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. Something's gonna go wrong here. Okay. What if, like, someone else is dead by the end of this? Like, Keo's a corpse on the ground once we're done. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, because like I said, I'm still scared there's gonna be two people dead by the end of this, you know? Yeah. I guess three once we find the killer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are, indeed, the ultimate detective. Well then... Let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay! We finally get to see Angie! So then... Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. And then I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much figured. I thought Keo would do it. Yeah, I thought too, but once he was like, someone else do it, yeah. I was like, okay, well, I know who it is. <laughs> I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Me? Nee. <laughs> nee. That's right. <laughs> you want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live a life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Okay, I. This is giving me such like before a murder happens. Yeah, I vibes. know, and it's like, stop! Don't kill her! Don't kill Tenko! Kill Himiko! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I'm wondering. Please. Tenko. Tenko. My heart oh, breaketh for thee. Also, Himiko. Let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. Unless you cry. Then it's like, what the heck, guys? Uh, baby, baby! Can I get the way 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 way. So, <laughs> if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do! When you I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better, too. Damn. Inventing your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes! Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> You're probably right. Okay. I did not see that coming. Please don't die, Tunko. <laughs> yeah, so one of those two is dying. I'm calling it now. At some point... Okay, if neither of them ever dies the whole game, I will literally be like... Pig mind blown emoji. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I am prepared for no pig mind blown emojis. <sighs> yep. I'm rest in peace. One of you, <laughs> someone, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to guess who it's going to be. Cause I, I totally like, it sounds so sure that like someone's dying right now. Uh, yeah. I would think Himiko would be the one, right? I would think, but if Tenko is going to be the one going into the middle, I don't you know. know. As soon as those lights turn back on, there's, it can, I, I like know. both their characters a lot. But I would be sad to see either of them go, you know? I'd be more sad to see Tenko go. But anyways, anyways. Seems like the two of them made up, and that's good. So then... So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Yes! All right, Himiko. I'll see you later. No, I won't. I'm gonna die. No, see, <laughs> just that on its own. Uh, oh, guard. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Her clothes always look so weird, like in these. I know, yeah. <laughs> they look so poofy. Make sure you watch your steps, since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. <laughs> it's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? All it says is a stone. Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right. Please mess it up. Someone step on it so she doesn't die. Yeah. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake. I have five-star flexibility. Okay. <laughs> Kyo's just like, okay. 
Whatever. <laughs> Look at her. So <sighs> Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully so as not to disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> he does not look confident. I have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a random, super ultra crazy random theory I just randomly had just out of nowhere. What's that? The first game's protagonist, Makoto, has a big like red mark on, on his hoodie, you know? Okay. Another character that has a big red mark is Nagito in the second game on his shirt. Okay. So far, it's tracking it's both of the super lucky students, you know? And Kaido has one, too. Kaido has a big red mark on his shirt. And it's just weird to me that it's appeared in every game. I I, I think I pull up, like, a, a uh, comparison, like, way, way earlier. Because you mentioned that, that he has the same, like, shirt as Nagito or something. I just like analyzing their clothes, and I was just thinking of that, and I was like... I is it know. red or is it purple? It's red, it's red. Okay. Um, That's... Yeah, because that doesn't really make sense with the rest of his outfit. But I, I just don't see why he would be ultimate lucky student. Like, I guess he's hasn't shown good or bad luck yet so far. Well, I mean, we know you can lie about your ultimates. It would, it would also kind of track with him not like having gone to space yet, and making it through that astronaut's exam. Yeah, like, what if that was luck? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it's just something to think about. That, that's a good catch, though. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me. <laughs> I, I know. It wouldn't be that funny <laughs> if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please, please don't die. <laughs> don't jinx us. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I'm tired. So next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. Okay. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? I got a poo. Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. Okay. Okay, pay attention. Miko, I don't think you're helping. <laughs> yeah, probably not. So that's a big statue. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <sighs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. <laughs> we should have had someone else do it and have Tenko help us lift. E or Ganta. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily. But seances and magic don't mix. Okay. Sure. Why is your arm so short? <laughs> Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Yeah, I sure hope you're right. <laughs> okay. I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. Okay, please don't die. Please don't die. I'm I'm very confident someone's going to bite the big one here. I we pulled an Angie death which I was fine with. Don't kill Tenko or Himiko. I like them both a lot. Cuz you know it's one of those two. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It there's no way it's Kokichi. And no Kyo. I don't know. Maybe it could be Kyo, I guess, but I could live with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it! Understood! I will not say a word until the seance is over! Okay, everyone! I'll see you guys after the seance! Well then... The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Now we play dodgeball. <laughs> okay. We each slid in a different corner. Oh no. <laughs> now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to this the This is so specific too, so it's like, okay, now a second investigation yeah. happens. Yeah. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. 
So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Right, because she's in that back corner with the hole. Interesting, that's where they stuff her at. Oh my god. In the small gonna, like, hole. fall in and die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Himiko's Please. gone, man. She's gone. Got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. How long do we wait? Like, what if we're in here for like an hour? <laughs> After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Please it's use those. Then I'll blow out the candle now. It's just so specific. Don't kill anyone. <sighs> All right. I see, look at this! Look at this! I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. I hate it! The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Good thing Kaido's not here. <laughs> yeah, pitch black darkness. So dark, I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the corner back to my... The wall back to my corner. Yeah. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Isn't everyone supposed to sing? Uh, Just someone's gonna d Don't kill anyone! <laughs> yeah. Kyo led us all in the Caged Child song. Young guard dog and little lost Pay attention to the voices. Sealed within an iron cage. Okay. At mountain's bottom, within the darkness. At last, at last, at long last. I think they're all there still. Yeah. I feel like you're just going to hear in the middle of a line of like, the douche, and like hear Himiko go, ah! <laughs> I I'm waiting for Himiko's voice to stop playing. Because that's what I'm guessing is going to happen. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? No, what is that? Yeah. Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? Okay, why is it little girl? It just makes me think of Himiko. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at last, at last, at long last. Okay, theory, theory right now before we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. If the killer potentially imitated voices to access Angie's room, okay, could the killer be imitating a voice right now? So let's say Himiko did get killed. That's smart. And let's say hypothetically, I, I don't know, Kokichi, right? We'll say he could imitate voices perfectly. I heard his voice too, though. I know, but like just, just, as, just an as, example, as an example. Okay. So could there be like, and there's holes in the wall too. So someone could be hiding over there, too. Yeah, I don't think they even necessarily have to be in this, like, room. Right. Or they could, like, be under the floorboards. And because... remember, each walled-in room had the hole in the back of it. Please don't kill him, Ico. Please. So what if they're all connected? Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. I don't know. That's a good point, though, tying it in with the uh, voice changer. That's, that's my biggest guess right now. Which would mean... I don't know. I don't know what it would mean a million different things. I'm pressing A. Okay. We finished singing the song. Oh, we just got an achievement. <laughs> but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was that? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yonaga? He began calling. Now if the medium answers. Say, is the cage child Angie Yonaga? What's going on? Say, is the cage <laughs> child Angie Yonaga? <laughs> What's the matter? That's not Himiko. I don't think that's Himiko at all. I think someone's doing the voice. 
Just read it. What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Oh, you can't even play the what's the matter? Uh-uh. Hold on. Oh, Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, maybe it failed. Or maybe it fell on top of Tenko. She could be a pancake right now. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Well, just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candle. <laughs> oh, no, no, Someone's no. so dead. No! I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Tenko, no! Don't be dead! <laughs> I'm just waiting for that music to play as it, like, zooms around all wildly. There's pink! There's pink! Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That cannot be. The, that shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Did someone break the salt on accident? Hmm. Tenko? I see, yes. Ah, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> Did she get cursed because we ruined it or something? No, I can't. I don't think, I don't think there's anything mystical about this. <laughs> you think it's just someone killed her? This is flat out murder. Uh... She follows orders well, but how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait. Dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. I don't think we have to worry about that. <sighs> I really don't want Tenko to die. She has to be. There's pink, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, you can Just see it. it. You can Just see do it. do it. I am so sorry, man. Oh, hold on. My rat disconnected. <laughs> Come on. I'm in suspense here. It takes two seconds. Don't worry. I love Tenko, though. She's like one of my favorites. We don't know for sure. It could be Samugi under there for all we know. It better be. It better be freaking <laughs> Sam No, it better be Gonta under there like that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Sorry, I was syncing up my rat. You guys have saw me lock in for a minute. Okay. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth, let's see a corpse. Just like setting up, Kyo instructed us how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything exactly in the order Kyo directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. What is on? Okay. Alright. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Oh? Oh? She doesn't look smush, but there's a lot of blood! <sighs> Something is amiss. Yeah. Oh no. Himiko ran toward the cage at a sprint. Oh. <laughs> Himiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... <laughs> Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted it up, and... Oh my god, she's buff? No! <laughs> Why? Wow. She got stabbed from underneath. Wait, what's that black thing? A floorboard. The floorboard was lifted up. Yeah. Wow. I really thought it'd be Himiko, too. I, yeah. If I had to guess, it would have been Himiko first. So this is where the real investigation's at. Dude! Yeah. And I even predicted, no, I think this is going to be a double murder. Okay. <sighs> Man. Okay, that is, that is like one of the coolest actual like killings I've yeah, seen though. Yeah, I like that Because a lot. you know, or like you have this deep gut like, oh no, <laughs> something is going to happen and it did. Man, and not Tenko. Okay, I was not like that torn up at a lot of the murders so far. Tenko hurts. Tenko does her. She Tenko was one of my favorites. I just, I didn't even get to do one of her free time events. I gave her boba tea and she was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. Well, we are going to leave that episode there. <laughs> Terrible spot to leave it. <laughs> hey, part of me wanted to leave it before we lifted up the, <laughs> yeah, know, the rag, but... Um, All right, well, we're going to continue this hefty investigation next time, I guess. What the heck? 
But okay. now my brain is completely like just not even thinking about the Angie thing, but more like how did this happen now? My first guess would be so who is near that hole in the wall? Himiko was, right? Yeah. But remember, okay, first thing I'm hearing, Keo told Himiko not to move. Right. So what if what if it was Keo like crawling under the floorboards? Angie, are you with us? Angie, are you with us? Yank and just like acted like nothing was amiss. He did it in the middle of the song though. That's when you heard the thud. Oh, you're right. You're right. So, I mean, unless he's the world's greatest voice actor, <laughs> he can I, I conceal like, the like position of his voice moving around, you know? I don't know. With everyone singing at once, that might be easier to do than you think. Maybe. But maybe. just initial impressions, Keo was the one who like spearheaded this whole thing. Maybe he, Katana, stabbed it too. Dude, Maki is going to be such a big suspect in the trial. Yeah. And I don't even a... think it was her, but I know everyone is going to be like, it was her. Because this is a perfect <laughs> killing, like, more or less. Yeah, like, an assassin would have to do yeah. this, you know? Uh, yeah, big, still big suspicions on Kaito. Less on Himiko now. Uh, I kind of thought she might have been one for Angie, but I don't think she would have killed Tenko. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Um, Who was our other one? I guess Kokichi. Just, then just a lot of maybes. Yeah, we just need more. Maybe, yeah. Need more maybe evidence. Kyo, maybe, I, I doubt Kokichi. Maybe Gonta or Kibo or, right. I, I don't know. We just need to see more. But yeah, I I love, hate that. I love how well they just did that sequence. And I hate that Tenko's dead now. I know, Tenko too. Because you knew. You knew, you know? Yeah, you I knew heard someone. Thud. I heard the thud and I listened for Himiko's voice. Wait, Himiko's still talking. And slowly, slowly. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and it makes sense, especially if Tenko was told never to talk. You wouldn't think twice about it. Man. I don't know. Someone just like quick shanked her too, is my assumption. Anyway, we'll investigate yes. that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Wow. That, that's <laughs> that was cool. One. I did not think that happened. I thought it'd be plain schming investigating this whole time, but Yeah, kinda. Well, I'm glad it kicked off like that though, so Me too. Anyway, we will see you to not uh, probably Monday. Uh, Whenever this comes out. Goodbye. Adios. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. <laughs>